What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel where today we're continuing our Madden 20 rebuild series by taking a look at one of the most intriguing teams as of late in the National Football League, more importantly as of like a week ago, and that is the Denver Broncos. We've kind of been waiting for the Broncos because I want to see what we witnessed last week when they got a big victory in the debut game of what could be hoped upon as their new franchise quarterback, Drew Locke, 1-0 in his debut. I was thinking, like, with Denver, he's the most polarizing quarterback still in the NFL because we've seen some of the rookies at play. You know, we know kind of where everyone's standing, but he was on IR. We didn't know what he could bring. He's a John Elway quarterback. In my mock drafts, I kind of wrote him off already and was mocking them to get, like, a Justin Herbert or something like that. And now Drew Locke came out, looked pretty damn good. Let's be completely honest. And they might have something here. So that is what this rebuild is going to be today. Is going to be the Drew Locke Denver Broncos rebuild. Can we make him into an absolute baller? I mean, my God. I feel like he's very generous with the uh, speed and acceleration there. I don't think he ran that fast at the combine. But uh, he's a really, really nice quarterback. As we start looking at the room, we definitely want to get Joe Flacco's contract off the books as soon as possible. Like, how long is this? This is a one year, right? Please say this is a one year. Because, I mean, this is a team that needs a lot of work. And what? His pocket, his person, he has an intense personality. It's a three-year deal. Okay. Well, okay. Look at the rest of the team. We got Philip Lindsley here, who should hopefully be our, our one of our stars, one of our two offensive skill position stars. Actually, probably three that we're hoping for in the landscape of this rebuild. But a nice little one-two punch here with Royce Freeman. They got Theo Riddick, underrated receiving back. We're not going to use him a whole lot. Devontae Booker. Let's be honest. I actually think he's a solid running back. But given the team and given the cap, we'll get rid of him. Uh, fullback Janovic, arguably. Probably the second best fullback in the league after Zuzhex. Uh Wide receiver, Corlin Sutton, certified baller. This guy is unbelievable. You know, coming out of SMU, I pounded the table for this guy. So, yeah, he's small school. Yeah, he's not super fast. He is very good. And he has, I think, established himself as a very legitimate wide receiver one in real life for Denver Broncos. And he's going to be a stud for us in this rebuild. Now, I rarely sign anyone in free agency. But looking at the rest of the wide receiver room, I mean, you might got something in Deshaun Hamilton, maybe. So, I hit the waiver wire. Antonio Callaway got released by the Browns. Has some off-the-field issues. You can't fix stupid. But for the sake of this rebuild... He's 22 to 74, got some speed to him. I think we definitely can utilize him and develop into our wide receiver two for the Denver Broncos. At tight end, you know, you got Herman. He's Herman. He's pretty cool. But no offense to the guy. Uh, you know, I would say no offense. Cortland Sutton and Philip Lindsay are going to have to be uh, the core of this offense to help grow and build around uh, Drew Locke. There's a lot of depth there. I like literally, well, I mean, I don't really know much about Herman. But I like Jake Butt. I like Fumagalli. I liked Andrew Beck coming out of Texas. He's more of a fullback. But, uh, you know, this is a really good tight end room, I think. And Noah Fant, we're going to need him to develop into a baller. Offensive line, you get first-round pick Garrett Bowles, who's not great. Probably not going to re-sign him, but he's there for the time being. Left guard Dalton Risner uh, should be good. He can play guard tackle, so we have that flexibility. Maybe if we can, say, draft a guard, we can move him to tackle or something like that. Center, a McGovern, solid for the time being. My favorite player in the game, Patrick Morris, serial killer. He murdered eight. There's like eight bodies in this guy's basement. All right, guy, we got Ron Leary. He's pretty good, but he's also 30. So we're going to have to start thinking about his replacement. Jawan James was a big money free agency get coming over from the Denver Broncos. Uh, for the Denver Broncos. From the, where'd he come from? Miami. Came from the Miami Dolphins to the Denver Broncos. Uh, you know, he's solid, 77. Normal, I mean, doesn't have an X factor or anything like that. But for the time being, much like... You know, Ron Leary, you know, we don't have to worry about it right this second. Put them the defense. It's kind of an old defense. We're going to have to slowly get, you know, out with the old in with the new. Derek Wolf, shout out to his his girlfriend. Watched a lot of her work. You know, for the time being, kind of a placeholder. I'm actually going to make Draymond Jones start at right end. Gotsis, he's coming near the end of a contract. Uh, so I'm going to go Draymond. He's a rookie. He's a 68. I feel like, you know, by the end of this year, if he starts over, he'll be a 74 at least. So uh, we're, we're going to gamble with the young guy here from Ohio State and see if he can develop into a fixture of this defense. Shelby Harris, for the time being, will be our uh, defensive tackle. Even though that's a very undersized nose tackle, but I guess that's what we're rocking with. But generally, this front three going to need a rebuild. Unless, and hopefully, we can get Draymond Jones to stick and develop. Flipping to the linebackers, you got Von Miller. 
Really good superstar X Factor, but he is 30. I don't know how he regressed, how he handles regression. I'm going to assume we're going to get at least four good years out of him. Middle linebacker, you got this guy, Alexander Johnson. Doesn't even have a picture. He's a very old rookie or, you know, sophomore player. He's 27, only been in the league for a year, but I guess he's playing well. Uh, you got Todd Day. I'm going to go Josie Jewell from Iowa. I think those are going to be our two linebackers, Johnson and Jewell, for now. Uh, Davis, he's not bad, but, you know, in terms of age. I, you know, we got we got to try to play some of these guys that are fringe starter. Like, if there's only four point difference between an older player and a younger player. I'm playing the younger player right now, so that's the case with Jewel Bradley Chubb, monster. Was he superstar? Only a star. We I, actually, I'm a little bit surprised with that. He should be a superstar. If I'm being frank, he's gonna be a he probably the so far. So what we see on the defense, assuming that Von Miller's only gonna start to regress, he's probably the face of this defense for this rebuild. In the secondary, Chris Harris is solid, but he's 30. We got Bryce Callahan, pretty much the same type player. Uh, he's 27. That's not as bad. And much like Antonio Callaway, I went to free agency. Trevor Williams, 78, star dev. I th was, it, was it last year's Madden? Or, yeah, it was, where he was always the top free agent uh, after year one. Or it might have been this year at the very beginning. Either way, why not, right? Let's see Let's see if he can develop, and, and maybe we'll get himself a brand new contract. Duke Dawson gets a Florida Gator bias in there as well. Free safety, Justin Simmons. Really nice playmaker here. 87-25 with a star dev. And knowing how well safety's developed in rebuilds, he should very well have his sights set as maybe a potential X factor when all is said and done. Kareem Jackson, nice veteran here. 86 overall, but he is 31. You have Will Parks here. I, I feel like this is not going to really work out when all is said and done because by the time Jackson's going to you know, be regressing, we need his replacement. We're probably not going to have Will Parks on... Uh, on the roster he's in what's his contract looking like how many more years do you get he's, he's in his final year like I, I don't think we can justify re-signing him at this point McManus and I've actually signed a punter here fill out our special teams so let's I mean there's a lot of work to get done but you know if especially if Drew Locke obviously we're gonna go as far as Drew Locke can take us if we can develop him into a franchise quarterback which John Elway Vic Fangio hopes that he can become I think we're gonna have a pretty good rebuild here on our hands so let's get into year one we're gonna try to make some trades. Cleveland was very interested in Huberman, who's solid tight end, to be honest with you. I don't know why they have Njoku, but they really want him. So we flipped him, Gotsis, and Atoshu to the Cleveland Browns for Larry Ogunjobi, who's gonna be able to slide out and be a defensive end, or maybe even a D tackle. Whatever. I don't know what we're gonna do yet for our scheme, but we needed a young playmaker on this front three. He's only 25, so that's a good piece of business here from the Cleveland Browns. And the Denver Broncos. Not usually one to show this, but when the sim does help me out, we gotta show that it is true. Deshaun Hamilton. Well, I didn't even realize that a star dev, that was his base, just got a superstar dev trait. Nice. Big nice. So coming out from our buy, we're five and four, which is, you know, very competitive AFC West. Tied for last, but only one game back. What's Drew Locke doing? He's 13th in yards, fifth in touchdowns. Hell yeah. That's a right call right there. Uh, look at the contracts right off the rip. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We got a lot of dudes here. Mm. What's, our, just looking, what's our salary cap? We have, we have a decent amount of salary. So first up, Justin Simmons. Pretty much can give him a five-year deal. 7.5 cap it. That's fine. Chris Harris. We don't really have anyone else to replace him, so I will take him on a one-year. That's very expensive. But we'll lock that shit down. We just got another one. Larry Ogunjobi goes from star to superstar. We're not getting any of the 20,000 XP, which is fine. Now, can we make it another one with Philip Lindsley? Well, I think sitting at a superstar, what is he, 400 yards or 200 yards, four touchdowns? That's a superstar X factor. Not going to lie. Probably going to hop into that game. And maybe the best year in terms of dev traits, year one for the Broncos continues as we got four touchdowns through the ground with Philip Lindsley hopping in, doing it ourselves, they get him a superstar X Factor ability. And at the end of year one, after dropping a 50 bomb in week 17 over the Raiders, we still finish eight and eight. Uh, you know, it's a very much work in progress, and I'm very interested to see what the stats on this team look like, just from what I've what I've paid attention to. I think it's gonna be pretty nasty. I don't think it's gonna line up with an eight and eight record. Well, let's take a look. So, Drew Locke. 4,500 passing yards, 42 touchdowns, and 11 picks. Shattering every rookie passing record ever. 
I mean, the only thing negative you could say is the completion percentage at 64%. It's not great, but we might have a rookie MVP. I mean, it happens every now and again for the AI. Happens to, like, whenever the Saints draft a quarterback replacement, whenever maybe the Chargers draft a quarterback replacement, you will see a rookie MVP. But I have never seen this in the flesh in my life. We hopped in for two games, I think. And in any of those games, I think we did. We played well with Drew Locke, but not like you might take off five touchdowns. And I know I threw two picks in those games. So that, you know, it, oh, this is, we might have a Sim God on our hands. I don't know. It's year one. Rookie quarterbacks seem to do well year one. We didn't have like the wins that you usually get with a young rookie quarterback, but that's unbelievable. What did he get rushing? Did he get, uh, he didn't really chip in a whole lot, but Philip Lindsley, almost 1,300 yards, 13 touchdowns, now up to his superstar x -Factor. Oh, we'll get a depth trade boost for Drew Locke. Now the downside is that you can only go up one. So if he does win MVP, rookie of the year, whatever, and he's not first in passing yards, first in pass. So he is going up to a star, but you can't go up multiple dev trades in a single year, which is annoying. Huh? Corlin Sutton, 72 catches, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Deshaun Hamilton, 1,100 yards, 16 touchdowns. Noah Fan, 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. We got even 700 from Callaway. I think we might... What? We You rarely see... Two guys go over a thousand. You know, that might be the first time we've got three guys go over a thousand. Three guys double digit receiving touchdowns. I knew Deshaun Hamilton was going off. When he went up to that star dev, which actually happened in the sim, he had 10 touchdowns on the year. I knew he was going to have ridiculous stat lines. I did not expect that for Corlin Sutton and Noah Fan. Even though we used Sutton not too long ago in a rebuild. Can't remember what rebuild it was. Maybe Jacksonville. And he went off, but Jesus Christ. What is going on? How did we not make the playoffs? Josie Jewell, middle linebacker, 131 tackles, 12 TFLs, two sacks, two picks. We got seven and a half from Vaughn Miller. Draymond Jones played okay. Definitely a down year from Bradley Chubb. Uh, picks are fine. Picks look okay. We had the set. Someone still had a better offense than us. We had second offense, bottom tier defense, which is really, really weird considering our head coach. Whatever. Yearly awards, MVP went to Josh Allen. Huh? Okay, wait, 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 wait. We had a quarterback that had the most passing yards, the most passing touchdowns come in number eight for the MVP. So Russell Wilson didn't have better numbers. Patty Mahomes didn't have better numbers. Rodgers didn't have better numbers. Cam Newton didn't have better numbers. Deshaun Watson didn't have better numbers. And Josh Allen... Didn't even make the playoffs. That's shocking. That is shocking. And he's fourth. Okay, Allen, Watson, Mahomes. What did they do? So we had 42 touchdowns and about 4,600 yards for Drew Locke. So you got uh, Patty Mahomes had 41. 42 touchdowns. Okay. What did Deshaun Watson for the Houston Texans. 36 touchdowns, probably had seven or eight rushing. You know, 42 touchdowns, okay, five picks. And then what did Josh Allen, the actual MVP? Thir he had 17 picks, 39 touchdowns. He had 43 touchdowns, 17 picks. One year. That is garbage. Even the player there, Dante Hightower, Josie Jewell coming number two. Von Miller, number four. So even though our defense was 25th, we had some standouts. Drew Locke is your offensive rookie of the year. Noah Fan at three. Defensive rookie of the year, Bobby Okariki. Best QB went to Drew Locke. Running back, Kareem Hunt. Okay. So let's see our dev traits and all that stuff and get into the offseason. For free agency, we had a decent amount of money after getting uh, Flacco's contract off the books. So I'm looking at Chris Jones, who will bring in and slide him in as one of our defensive ends, as well as Eric Armstead. We actually kind of had a little bit of a breakout year with the Niners. We're not going to overbid. I'm not going to be super upset if we don't get him. I feel fairly confident with the Chris Jones bid. But if we can lock up both of them, that front three, along with Von Miller and Bradley Chubb, we got to find a way to improve this 25th-ranked defense. This is how you do it. So we got Chris Jones in free agency. We missed on... Uh, and adding in uh, Eric Armstead. So we had a we had a prerogative going to the draft. We want to get better on the O-line. We had home runs after home runs. Uh, we had Clyde Edwards-Hilaire from LSU just coming to be our third running back. Laurel Murchison from NC State. 
Uh, most likely we'll switch to a defensive. Well, definitely we'll switch to a defensive end. So we'll make him a make him a left end right now. Uh, but you know, home runs. Walker Little, 75 hidden dev trait tackle. There you go, immediate upgrade over Garrett Bowles. And then we don't even have a center on the roster after letting I don't know, Connor McGovern go. So we got Creed Humphrey, one of the best center prospects I've seen. 20 years old, redshirt sophomore, 74, hidden dev trait, got a pro, like a goddamn wrestling background. He is a mauler. So we got two new starters on the offensive line, just like that. Now you may argue, should we probably still try to address that 25th ranked defense? Probably, probably. Year two for the Denver Broncos after landing a stud in Chris Jones in the defense, going heavy on offense in the draft. Here's how things shape up. So Locke has gone to a star dev after, I mean, you know, we can't really complain because we can only go up on dev trade, but if he has a year like that yet again, if he truly is a sim god, it doesn't get MVP, doesn't get QB of the year, but gets first passing yards, first passing touchdowns, I'm going to shit brick. Uh, Corlett Sutton's up to a superstar, which we saw, but Deshaun Hamilton, superstar X Factor, got first one free, which is the same one that we got for Philip Lindsay. Um, I'm not going to lie. What I'm going to do behind the scenes, I'm going to re-roll that. I just want some diversity to our X Factors. That one doesn't even make sense. Well, he has he, he got the juke one, yet his juking is, I mean, 85's kind of high, I guess, for a wide receiver, but he's not a, I don't know. I think that's a bad one. We're going to try to re-roll that, see if we can get him. I mean, what is he? He's a slot guy. Give me slotomatic or something. Um, Noah Fant. I don't know if he went up dev trade or not. There's no way. He was probably already a star. Yeah, he was. But he had a great year last season. And you see Creed, uh, Creed Humphrey and Walker Little starting here on the offensive line. That's pretty well built. Flipping to the defense. So we got Chris Jones on the front three here. Larry Ogunjobi up to a superstar. Uh, no other dev traits gained, I see here on the defense. Everything pretty much remains the same. Uh, I think maybe Josie Jewell could take a big step this year. Maybe Bradley Chubb could take a step this year in growing their dev trait. But generally speaking, front to back, I think this is a much improved team that was offensively outstanding last year. So hopefully we can do a little bit better than 8-8. Eight and eight. A pretty early bye here in year two. Coming out of the week five bye, we got a big game against the Patriots. We're undefeated 4-0, as are the Chargers here in the AFC West. Let's start looking at some contracts, some early contracts. Not everyone's going to be available. So right there, we got Philip Lindsley absolutely getting a five-year deal. We got Chris Harris still playing at a very high level. That's a little bit cheaper than what it was, but of course, yeah, he wants a little bit more money. Larry Ogunjobi up the middle. Let's get him until he's 30, just under $6 million cap hit. We could totally make that work. One year for Ron Leary. I think for the time being, we're not going to be able to replace him in one season. So if we can come back and get him for one season, much like Chris Harris, that's pretty acceptable. Other than that, there you go. The rest of these guys, goodbye. Your services are no longer required. And at the end of the year, we finish as the number four seed in the NFL. Three seed in the AFC. Pretty competitive AFC, 2, 13, and 3. But 12 and 4 is really damn good. A lot better than 8 and 8. And we're taking a look at the stats here. Uh, touchdowns were good for Drew Locke. Didn't really meet the requirement on yards, so he's probably not going to get a death rate, which is annoying unless he gets QB of the year. But 4,000 yards, 38 touchdowns, 7 picks. Really, really good. Still, that completion percentage is a little lower than what we'd like. 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns for Philip Lindsley. We got 994 and 10 from Cortland Sutton. 830 and 7, Deshaun Hamilton. 830 and 12 from Noah Fant. Big years across the board. Josie Jewell, 119 tackles, 3 TFLs, sack and a half, 3 interceptions. 9 and a half sacks from Chris Jones. Big money free agency get. 8 and a half from Larry Ogunjobi, 14 TFLs. Chubb was pretty good. Von Miller, I mean, he's old now, I guess. Uh, interceptions were fine. Yearly awards MVP went to Justin Herbert. And number one at passing touchdowns doesn't even get you on the top 10 list. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Number seven, Drew Locke. Defensive Player of the Year, Josie Jewell coming in at six. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, I mean, we pretty much went O-line, so I'm not even going to really look. QB, Herbert, Drew Locke at four. And we had no individual award winners. So, hey, we got the first round of the playoffs against the Miami Dolphins. Let's get it. And I hate my life. One and done. Zillow's 38 or 31 to 28 in the playoffs. One and done to the goddamn Dolphins. Joe Burrow. Three touchdowns. Drew Locke was fine. I guess it's our defense that fell apart. 
be honest with you. Let's see, we got three sacks. Draymond Jones. I mean, okay. For our final draft of the real players, here's how it kind of turned out for us. We got Trey Dean, who can pretty much play anywhere in the secondary, but we more so got him to play strong safety to be the replacement for Kareem Jackson. 72 with a hidden dev trait. Uh, we actually did well with the dev traits, not so much on the base overalls. Jalen Phillips, defensive end, he'd be more so outside linebacker here. 69 with a hidden dev. We got Abraham Lucas, pretty much, you know, can play anywhere on the O-line. 68 hidden dev. Uh, and then outside of that, just 66 in Oak York. Galvin, 65, 62 for T.U. Pulutu from USC. But uh, trading's really the big get. We might actually be ready to start year one as an upgrade over Kareem Jackson, who's, you know, 39. Year three, that's, you know, our offense has been unreal, but what and done in the playoffs is all we have to show for it. We're good though, 87 overall. Looking at the offense, not much has changed. Creed Humphrey came out as a superstar dev trait, our center, our first round pick last year. Walker Little was just a star dev, but still, generally speaking, that is a nice looking offensive line. No offense up to an 85. Hamilton is a superstar X Factor, as is Philip Lindsley. Sutton superstar, Callaway star, Drew Locke, who's playing very well, is a star. Flipping to the defense. Um, I don't think we got anything new in terms of dev trades. I am going to give Trey Dean the start over Kareem Jackson. Maybe a controversial decision, but I, I think that'll work out well. Uh, Josie Jewell, we got just a star dev on him. So not, no real big upgrades last year, even though the team performance is up. We had like 11 or 12 wins. Uh, the number three seed. But we don't have anything to show for it. So let's see what we can do in year three. Three coming out from the week eight bye. We're three and four, way behind the Chargers in the AFC West. Not a great start. Uh, there is a breakout scenario here for Noah Fan to go from star to a superstar. You know, again, very low probability that I can actually have. Oh, that's not happening. 150 yards for a tight end. I'm going to give that a 5% chance. Um, looking at our contracts, though, got to be very expensive. Some big names on this list. Okay, let's see what we got. We'll start. I like starting low and work my way up. So we have Josie Jewell wants a three-year deal, 11 mil. That's reasonable. Got him done. Uh, Ron Lear, we can replace on Kareem Jackson or we get his replacement. We don't need to pay money for a running back too. Bryce Callahan, you know, probably. That might be, uh, anyone. We'll, we'll sit and think about that. Eh, that's not a lot of money. For a one-year deal. Just to have covered. Worst case scenario, still... Yeah, just kiss my ass then. All right, Deshaun Hamilton. We'll keep him till he's 30 for the remainder of the rebuild. Okay, he wants more money. Okay, I'll go... I'll go... Uh, I'll go pound sand. Chris Harris, one-year deal. There we go. Someone's appreciative. Cortland Sutton. Give you a five-year deal. Just over $10 million cap. It. That's wide receiver one money. He wants more money. Of course he does. Von Miller... We got a lot of renegotiating to do. I'm going to try my best to retain all the players we just whiffed on. Man, I'm starting to think that year three, previous Madden's year four is always the weird year. I think year three might be the weird year. As we are an 89 overall, probably a top five team. If not, definitely top 10 team. And three and 13. We are the worst team in the NFL. We have the number one overall pick. Looking at the stats, Drew Locke. A little bit of a down year. Interceptions up. Everything else is down. No 1,000-yard rusher. Deshaun Hamilton did go over 1,000 yards. Almost 2,000-yard receivers, which is still somewhat promising. Good numbers from Noah Fant. Defensively, Jared Davis, who we brought in as a late free agency signing. 95 tackles. We got nine sacks. Chris, that's a big year from Chris Jones. 16 TFLs, nine sacks. Chubb was good. Played on this fifth-year option. Uh, picks were down across the board. We even bother looking at this. MVP went to Ezekiel Elliott. Looking at the AFC offense player of the year, Justin Herbert, Talvin Smith. Ooh, and we obviously we weren't gonna have anyone. That's a terrible year, but hey, we got Whoa, wait a minute. 14 1 and 1 for the Chargers is ridiculous. But hey, let's, you know, let's get to the draft where we have the number one overall pick. What position could we even go? We're we're stacked across the board. Like, oh, we need a right guard. A right tackle? Is there going to be someone that's worth the number one overall? But we don't even need that. We can probably put Abraham Lucas there at right tackle if we really wanted to. Where can we even spend the number one pick? I, I'm corner. There, hopefully, there's a corner or a defensive end, maybe. Middle line. Oh, this is stupid. Okay, we have one shot. I'm going to eliminate one of the positions that we need, which is corner right here. We can't spend a whole lot of money. This is so much money. 
But my gamble is that we're going to move on from Von Miller's big contract. And we'll have enough money to play Drew Lock. But this right here, this is a defining moment. We need a corner. Jair Alexander is a elite lockdown corner. We still have to pay Drew Lock. Very, very uh, we can't even have the one, the fifth year option on. Drew. This could very well come back to bite us in the ass. So annoyed. I am so annoyed because, of course, the bet like this might be the best corner prospect I've ever seen. DJ Bird, B plus, every stat you want. There's a tackle there. I'm picking this guy. This corner, this is the most insane looking corner I've ever seen. 78. There we go. Number one. The number one player. We have to do it. We had to do it. The dev trade sucks. He's still the number one player. Pick one. We only have Chris Harris on a one year. So hopefully he can develop along with Jai Alexander. Our secondary isn't going to miss a beat for the remainder of this rebuild. Year three draft going into year four. Some random draft prospects. So we saw DJ Bird, who just yes, really is even a star dev trade away from being a legit ball. He's still going to be a great pick, even though he is old. He's 24. And we got Jair Alexander. I mean, everything's going to come down to that Jair contract and being able to resign Drew Lock. If we can make it both work, it's got to look good. Uh, outside of that, we didn't do good for dev traits. We did good for player overall. We got a 71D tackle, 72D tackle. Both of them are more so defensive ends. We got Will Waters, 71 uh, offensive lineman. Couple in the 60s. I simmed out pretty much the end. We had a bunch of picks. But DJ Bird, let's keep an eye on this guy. Might it be something special, especially if we can get that dev trade up. Year four, trying to respond from being the worst team in the league. You know what I'm thinking too? The fact that that DJ Bird, 78 normal, was the number one player in the draft. Of course, we would have the first overall pick in a draft where that's the best player. No, like, you know, it's, that's just, it's just annoying. Um, looking at the offense here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually gonna take Lucas and make him a right guard. Because Leary is no longer a member of the squad. And we used to get the dev trait there. So he should develop nicely. Should be an 80 when all is said and done. Uh, no change to the offense though. All dev traits remain the same. No new starters. Defensively, uh, Chubb, superstar? He, got, he would've got promoted? Or did he get a scenario? Oh, he did. He went up. Superstar dev trait last season. Dope. Uh, Trey Dean, 79 star. We get brought in a Jair Alexander, which I hope doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. No other dev traits to be to be sad. I mean, you're not going to expect a lot of growth in a year that you're the worst team in the league. So let's bounce back here in year four and make a push for the playoffs and play up to our standards. Just over midway point, we just lost to a 1-7 Raiders team. This team sucks. 3-6. and six. Even though we're 91 overall, there's a breakout scenario there for Corlin Sutton. That doesn't even matter. We're not going to hit it. Uh, contract. So, off the rip. We This is going to be a lot of money. Uh, so, we got Bradley Chubb. We have him a five-year, $80 million deal. We got him locked down. Drew Locke wants $161 million. Got him locked down, though. Not worried about it. See, we're making it all work. Even with the Jair Alexander contract, we got all of our big targets. Dalton Risner, uh, we could probably actually give him three-year, 24 mil. Honestly, we, we did it. Outside of bringing back Chris Harris, which we kind of already planned to move on from. That's with the first overall pick, getting a corner and Jair. We fell ass backwards into this all working out. Too bad. It looks like we're pissing away another year, and it's got to turn into a year five Super Bowl or bust. And the year four, pretty much as bad as <laughs> four wins. Like, what did we do? What what kind of curse? What kind of deal with the devil did we make to be so good year one and year two to be awful year three and year four? Four and twelve were for being the worst team in the league to the second worst team in the league by a single win. Looking at the stats here, Drew Locke played a little bit better, but still peaked. Look at this drop off. What has happened? Everyone else has got better around him. He's only got better. I don't know, man. It's weird. Bill Lindsley, good year. 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. 1,300 yards, 4 tutties for Cortland Sutton. Hamilton was fine. Everyone else was fine defensively. Uh, Chris Harris leading your team in tackles. Never great. Chubb, 8.5 sacks. 7 for Vaughn. He's pretty much toasted. I mean, hey, I like seeing that from Jair. 4 picks, 3 picks, Josie Jewel. But why is no one else getting interceptions? Yearly awards MVP, Lamar Jackson. Uh, we're not going to have anyone here, I don't think. No, Defensive Player of the Year. All right, year five. Well, you, can, you can't really go with any money left in year five. So looking at Quinn and Williams at defensive end to come in and, and just man the front there. We're coming with a big bid 
over the Raiders. Outside of that, there's just there's not a whole lot of moves to be had, to be honest with you. Like our, our team's pretty much set in stone here. Um, gonna need to draft maybe a linebacker. Other than that, man, this roster is juiced to the gills, and especially we get Quinn and Williams. Good night. Does this draft, does the final draft ever matter? I, I don't know. But here's our draft. Um, you know, we started it well. I, I pretty much simmed out after this. Again, another year where the dev traits could be better. We got Frederick Page, linebacker from Ohio State. Pretty much, we just need an edge outside linebacker. That's it. So I figured, why not? Just look at the three good prospects. Get the best. Make sure we get the best. And it's going to be Fred Page out of Ohio State. 74. Hidden Dev. Pretty good across the board. No standout traits, but he's a good athlete with good power. Uh, then we got Flynn, who's a 71 normal. Jameson, 71 normal. And there's a bunch of 60s. But hey, there we go. Frederick Page. Very nice selection. And our final draft for the Denver Broncos. Year five. This is our final team. 90 overall. 93 offense. How is this offense going to disappoint me yet again? Uh, Drew Locke started out maybe like the great for like what was he 65 overall quarterback when you begin when we started and he ended up finishing his first year as a rookie with 4,500 yards 42 touchdowns. I don't know what's happened these last two years. Is he into drugs? Is he into hard co hard cocaine or something? Either way, um, we got Sutton who's a 94, Lindsley 93. Drew Locke should hit 90 very, very soon, I think. Yeah, it's probably about halfway through the season, maybe even maybe quarter through the season will be a 90. Deshaun Hamilton coming out that 15 touchdowns he had year one, superstar X Factor. Callaway 86 on the offense. Walker Little, we got Risner, uh, Reisner, Creed Humphrey. Uh, it's a solid team, man. Uh, and Noah Fant also, much like Drew Locke, probably will get into the 90s this year. Looking at the defense, no more Von Miller. So we had to have Jalen Phillips come out there and be outside linebacker along with, you know, Page could take over that spot. Uh, he's probably actually better suit. What's his coverage? Zone and man is actually not that great. Uh, so we'll keep this as is. But we got, you know, Jai Alexander the perfect 99. Chris Jones, 95. 87, Larry Ogunjobi. Quinn Williams, 90. I mean, like, this team here... Should absolutely. Bradley Chubb coming off the edge. It's going to be like, at minimum, an 11-win team, right? Year five, give us something to play for. Give us a chance of getting the Super Bowl. That was, that was very close. It all came down to that Week 17 game. Just edging out. The, like Everyone was 8-8. Eight and eight. We finished 9-7. and seven. The cream rises to the top here. That might be our first AFC West title. First or second. We only have one or two. But that's a huge win, week 17. Setting up a wild card. We have to run the gauntlet if we want any chance at winning the Super Bowl. And it starts against a very solid looking 11 and 5 Buffalo Bills team. Looking at the stats this year, Drew Locke playing better. There we go. 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, 7 picks. We got 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns for Philip Lindsley. Edwards Hilaire chipping in. Cortland Sutton, big year. 94 catches, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns, 905 for Hamilton, 707 for Fant. On the defensive side, Josie Jewell led the team 108 tackles, 10 sacks, Bradley Chubb, four picks, Jair, four picks, Trey Dean. Very nice. Yearly awards. MVP went to, of course, it went to Jacoby Brissett in the AFC. Jacoby Brissett. Drew Locke coming in at eight. Defensive player went to Miles Garrett. Not only we're really going to see. Oh, best wide receiver. Nice. Cortland Sutton. That might be a superstar X Factor if we can make the Super Bowl. Because I don't think he's already an X Factor, is he? No, he's not. But he's almost 99 overall. And that team has got very good. 93 overall. We got a 96 offense. We're rocking and rolling. Let's hop into this game. Okay, I trust that they can get the job done. But if we have to step in, Papa Barrett, you know what I'm saying. We will do that. But uh, I really trust and hope that this team can... Can, can move the ball, put some points up, and stop a Buffalo Bills offense. You know, it's still Josh Allen at the end of the day. This is, we're talking about a guy that struggles to go for like 50% completion percentage. And it looks like we're getting railroaded. So we'll come in on third down. Sure. Does it really matter? Probably not. Four, hey, third and nine. They have two, we have two turnovers. Hey, they have you, none. I you, I you, Great. Oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Throw a bomb up to your 97 overall wide receiver. Is it that hard? We did that in one play. Okay. 
All right, third down again. How about we throw another bomb? Third and inches probably should. Let's go. Probably should just run it. But I don't care. We ain't giving up nothing today. Because Callaway's fast. Wow, what was that? That should have been a touchdown. It was an underthrow on a Hail Mary where the guy got wide open. All right, fourth down. Fourth and inches. Phil Blinsley, we should be able to get this. We do. Running behind his offensive line. Gets a nice gainer there. 17 rushes, 74 yards for Philip Lindsay so far here in this wild card matchup. It's fairly impressive. They get to the red zone. We get a touchdown. Can our defense get a stop? Feels like every time Buffalo needs a score, they get in a score. Third and two. Ooh, we got Corlin Sutton in the slot. Not. I'm going to gamble that he can beat that safety. Which he does. And we'll go no huddle. Oh, okay. We're not going to go no huddle? Or we will go no huddle. All right, let's go smash pivot. Sure, we're taking a lot of time here. Uh, Noah Fant. Oh. Oh, was not Noah Fant. Drew Locke's had a great game. This is all on our defense. Drew Locke has almost 300 yards, three touchdowns. Says he had, we had two turnovers. We have no interceptions. So unless that's like Philip Lindsay fumbling. Oh, Lindsay. Just electrifying out the backfield. Easy. Can our team give the ball back? We got two timeouts. It's over. And we're, and we're one and done. Um, that's a Madden 20 rebuild for you. We made Denver very good. We made Drew Locke for three out of his four years, or three out of his five years, one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. I did my job. Madden failed on its end. Yet again, for the countless times here. I think we started out with the... Re we keep score, right? I have a little Excel spreadsheet. If you're on my Patreon, you subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, at the end of the year, I always post my Excel sheet that has, like, everything. Our win-loss record, how many divisional titles we had in every single rebuild, what guys we drafted, what free agents we signed. And we started out, we were, like, 6-7-2, and seven and two probably. Like, seven rebuilds that we won the Super Bowl, only two fails. We've lost, like, out of the last ten, we're probably, like... Three and seven. Like, it, it's just, it makes me feel like something happened in the pat. I don't know. So the patch, the game, got the same even. I don't. It, you, you literally, it, it turns like to a, like a robot. Where you, your brain starts melting. It does not compute. Steam coming out of your ears. Trying to think and justify what the hell goes on behind the scenes under the hood in a Madden franchise mode sim. But every time we came in, this game felt good. We got touchdowns pretty much every single time we came in. And, uh, we, we you know, you can only do what you can do. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this rebuild, the Drew Locke rebuild of the Denver Broncos. I, I think ultimately it was successful. It made this team to a 93 overall. Um, so let me know in the comment section below what team you want to see rebuild next. We'll probably do maybe a midweek rebuild. Mix it in with the spin the wheel rebuilds. I have another type of thing I want to do. But let me know what team you guys want to see next. And hopefully it's a good one that we can try to get back in the win column with a Super Bowl title. But that is me today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, special like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out. Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping. You talking that shit when you talking and talking. Look at my options, look at me dropping. I send the game like, who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me, not never. Not me, not me, not never. I'm way too clever. Look at the kid, Mr. Consistent, I'm doing it big Way too persistent on taking